Oh, good morning there to all our Winning Way show fans and um, welcome to the preview for Turf Team Inside Track, 7th of November, this Thursday. We've got uh, 20 pentrometers, so the course is pretty firm and um, a false rail uh, at the 500 of 3 meters, so that will give them a little chance to spread. Still think that the draw is against you. Race 1, 1450. And uh, it's a maiden plate, and Mike de Cox got a hot favourite here. Not can, convinced about the type of comment these guys give, and um, Mike's a mate, and I hope he takes it the right way because you can't just say each way chance when a horse is 13 to 20. So there's obviously money because the horse can obviously run, and um, you know, each way chance is not good enough. Uh, tell us if it's ready or it's not ready. What are the dangers, Trend Master? Uh, number three on the card and creation they look like the two horses that will come to the party if Oscar Wilde number 11 does not uh, fit the bill. Race two 2600 meter maiden plate uh, number one Poppy Cox your even money favorite and looks like the right horse forms pretty good romantic era look for this one to improve with Matsuyami but Muzieni rides for Paul Matchett and he normally rides for Robbie Sage so uh, that is a clue there, but uh, Poppycock does look like the one they've all got to beat. It's a terribly weak field, so you could get a result. Race three, uh, Phillies and Mares, 72, 2,600 metres. Well, I think Perfect Light's a big improver here, and I'm going to make it um, the right horse. I can't find anything that can beat it. Uh, Flying Fantasy gets a four kilogram claimer. Glamorous Scandal's got some sort of chance, and Ration My Passion, always competitive. Race four. This is the first leg of the jackpot, and Gold Griffin is my idea of the right horse here. Warren Kennedy, drawn three, Paul Peter, very good form. Um, he's uh, run extremely well his last couple of starts. Last time he came from the clouds to run um, fifth, and um, expect him to go and run very well. The time before that was a tremendous run. He's the right horse. Dickens gets Gavin Larina for the Fanfuren outfit. Got to have a chance. French leave. My mate Gerald Sadler's horse. Hopefully he runs well. But Gerald probably needs the money after the Rugby World Cup. I don't think that he backed South Africa. Race 5. Uh, Merry rated 80, 1600 metres. And uh, your favourite here is Wakas. Weak. 14 draw. Got to go 1600 metres. Not going to be easy from that draw. Callan won on him last time. He'd be Captain Flint a short head. I thought he was extremely lucky. So what else is there? Tokyo Drift, full of attitude. Marshall Foch. They've got to go into the play, horses like that. Liberado from the Alexander Yard, now and forever. Super Mufti, uh, Stephen Larina's runner. I'm going to put the field in. I'm going to either bank over cost or to put the field. Race six, graduation plate, 1,600 metres. Uh, absolute three-cornered contest. Spera Optima and Promise from the Master, the two three-year-old Colts and Geldings. Spera Optima is a Gelding. And Frosted Steel is the filly uh, going the mile for the first time. It will be interesting to see how she goes against uh, these two very nice Colts. You can get away with all three of them. Um, that's how you should play it. Race 7, Merit Rated 84, fillies and mares. And uh, very, very open. Arikel's the favourite. Stratum gets on for Diane Stenger. He's ridden at the last couple of starts. Uh, Ocean City looks absolutely cherry ripe and ready. So does Mams well. Uh, and Casual Wear might be the big improver in the race. So I'm going to put the four of them in. And um, maybe include Desert Kitten because the stable's in hot form. And Murray's riding for them now. It's quite interesting because Stratum was riding for uh, Fabian Habib. He now seems to have got the boot and Murray's aboard. Race 8, Mary Raider 77, 1,200 metres, and uh, my find of the card is Jim Cutter. I've been with this horse the last couple of starts, and I think that he's going to improve sometime now. What are the dangers of the three-year-olds? Leopold perfectly put, uh, perfectly putt, uh, which is not Mike de Cox's forte, and then uh, King of the Delta. Um, Prince Jordan gets the blinkers on, but they've now been taken off again. I've seen in the latest update. So, interesting card. Uh, lots of action to be found. I'm going to go with uh, St. John Gray's horse uh, in race three as perfect light. 
and Gold Griffin. I think they're the two horses to be with. Go with Jim Cutter in the last as an each-way chance. Hope you have a great day at Turf and Team.